Okay, so in the last one we outlined our, our four-step process to upload an image to Firebase and store a pointer to it in the database. Now let's actually get started. So as you can see, the first step is create a data model for photos. So let's go into our models package and go create a new Java class and just call it photo, not photos, just photo, because remember we're storing only a sing, oops, I should have capitalized that. Uh, we're storing only a single photo. Just gonna refactor that. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna delete it because it's gonna refactor a whole bunch of stuff. Get out of here. Sure. Photo. Okay, so now let's set a bunch of properties and we're just gonna use all string properties pretty much. Uh, oops, caption and private string date created, private string image path. Remember to copy the exact same capitalization as I'm using because Firebase database is very picky with the names of the objects and the parameters and all that stuff. So you're gonna have problems with your getter and setter methods if you don't copy exactly how I do, including the case. Uh, so we do tags, and then we can just do alt insert our default constructor, grab, grab all our properties, and let's create an empty constructor also. So just copy and paste that and delete everything that's passed to the method and also everything down in the method constructor itself. And then alt insert getter and setters again. That's good. And I'll insert two string. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll need two string, but it doesn't matter. Might as well just throw it in there. So there's our data model for the photo. So step one and step two are kind of the same. Step two is basically just getting the input for the description. So let's work on step three and get the count of the number of photos that the user already has. And we could use a query or we could use the data snapshot. Uh, I think I like you typically using a query is better because it's more efficient. But I think that because we're targeting a certain user ID, it shouldn't really slow it down too much anyway. Like if we look at the database, what, all, all we're gonna be doing is querying, looking at the data snapshot for the user's photos node and then targeting the user ID and then iterating through each one of the photos. So like it shouldn't be a ton of photos no matter what, like how many photos can a user have on Instagram? Even if it's hundreds, it's still gonna be pretty fast. So let's just do it with a data snapshot. We'll create a method. Let's see if I have the Firebase methods up here. I do, so let's instantiate that. So m Firebase methods equals new Firebase methods. And, oops, I need to pass the context. So next activity at this. And then we're gonna go down into our myref add value event listener. And this is gonna be, this is gonna execute as soon as the activity is created so we can call a method here so I'll create a global variable called the image count let's go up to variables here and go private uh, integer image count equals zero then we'll go down here and we can say image count equals m firebase no nope, m firebase methods firebase methods dot uh, get uh, image count and obviously I haven't made this method yet but we're gonna pass the data snapshot so let's create this method inside Firebase methods. We'll go, I guess, just up to the very top here. Private uh, int get image count. And we need to pass the data snapshot. And there we go. So create a count variable. And it's going to be pretty easy. We just need to iterate through the data snapshot. Data snapshot ds. And data snapshot get children, just like we've done a million times before. And, but the thing that we're gonna do differently here is uh, we're gonna call get children, or sorry, we're gonna target a specific node so it, it goes a lot faster. So I'm gonna go child and then get string, so context get string r dot string dot uh, user photos, which I don't have yet, so we have to create that. It's gonna be uh, user photos. And then we're gonna get another child on the user ID. So we can just do, we can either pass user ID or if you want to make sure that you actually have the user ID, we can do Firebase off, get instance, get current user, get UID. And that will get the user ID of the current user. So let's create this string, user photos. Let's go into our, whoops, our resources and go into values and strings. And we're looking for the field names, I believe. Yeah, because we need to create two new nodes. So we're going to go copy that twice. And the first one is going to be photos 
and the second one is going to be user photos for our two new nodes and so just photos and then user photos and that should be good now this should go away oh database name user photos right database name user photos and that should be good so now all the children here we just want to if for every child that's found we want to uh, increase count and at the end of the data snapshot we want to return the count let's check over in next activity and that's red for some reason firebase method oh i made it private that's why whoops change that to public and get image count and there we go so once that's done let's actually print out the image count so i'm going to go like this and print out our image count and let's actually do it once when this is instantiated also so we can see that it's working and it's successfully changing it from zero to whatever the image count is um, but right now actually in our project we don't have any images so let's change the project here so right now we don't have any photos node or user photos node so I'm just going to insert an artificial one just to kind of make sure that it's working so I'm going to call this node uh, user photos and I'm just going to type in like a random string there to show, or actually I need to put in a user ID. So let's just grab, grab this user ID. And then I need to grab a random thing that's gonna denote the photo ID. And then I'll just put in a caption. This is um, caption and then insert that. And let's insert one more under that same user here. Hopefully that's the user that I'm logged in with. Should be. So, whoops not where I want it to be. So let's insert one more random string there for an ID and another caption. So then we expect the count to return two for this particular user. So let's go over to our app and let's run it and let's take a look. Okay, so we have the app open. Let's open up the old Android monitor here and we'll go to the share screen and just choose a photo and hit next. And let's see, so there we have our image count too, so that's working, and then up here we have the image count printed out as zero. So it looks like it's working as we expect, and we have no issues with getting the count. So in the next one, we're gonna continue on with, oops, continue on with our process, and uh, I guess start building the method to actually upload to Firebase. So I'll see you guys in the next video.